Now let's talk about how to use Apple Watch for running, and let me explain it in the most understandable and straightforward way. The Apple Watch is hardware, and it has all the hardware components to make it easy for you to track your running progress, which means that it has the GPS to track your running distance. It has the internet to like share your progress with your accountability partners or with friends. It has the hardware monitor to track your calories and all of the stuff so once you have the good hardware the apple watch for tracking then it's up to you to choose the software so you can use the built-in software for running or download a third-party app so let's begin with the built-in one for example i use the calories or the activity watch face right here and as a complication i chose the workout app so whenever i tap on it i can just start a workout of running it's somewhere in here so outdoor run and i can start this workout and the apple watch as long as it's on my wrist is going to track my heart rate and therefore count the calories that i burn and it's gonna just give me the information about the rolling average or average in general and how far i've been running my current heart rate at the time and then in the fitness app on your iphone you're gonna have like access to other important information after you finish running so you can see your workouts and you can filter it by running so for example i went for a outdoor run in here and i can see all the things in here so you can see where you've been you can see it on a map you can see the pace active calories workout time distance all the stuff you can even show more you can have the pace like all the interesting stuff and this is just using the built-in software from apple and from the apple watch so if you're okay with that it just turns Turn on the running workout whenever you go for a run, wear the Apple Watch on your wrist and you can just keep on tracking the data this way. So this is exactly how you can use the Apple Watch for running. So you just go for a run and then track your progress and all the information that you need. However, there are other apps besides just the built-in workout app on the iPhone, of course. You can download, for example, the Nike Plus. And this Apple Watch is actually a Nike Apple Watch. You can know about it because it says Nike here on the back in case you can see it. And it also comes with like a Nike band and stuff. I mean, it's not really that important, but you can download the Nike Plus running software as well. So this is the second option. So the Nike Run Club is a running coach, which as you can see is an app for iPhone as well as for the Apple Watch. So it can also track your running pace and all the, all the data that you get from the Apple Watch just using a different software. Even if you download the, the Nike running app on your Apple Watch, it still has access to the same hardware, the same heart rate monitor, the same GPS and all the stuff. So it's pretty much the same thing using just a different interface and different data, different algorithms, but it, it's pretty much the same thing. It's just up to you and what is the best option for you. You have naturally some other apps, like you have Adidas running, you have Strava, whatever you wanna use for your running. So this is what you can download and use. However, one important thing to get the correct data from any of the apps, no matter which, which one you decide to go with, is to update your current health information. So you need to navigate to your health app on your iPhone. So it's this one right here. You go to your health and click on browse and you're gonna click on body measurements. And you need to update your weight in here, you need to uh, update your height, you need to uh, update all the information that you know about in order to make sure that the Apple Watch has uh, the correct information to work with. Because this is how it also counts the calories. It's not just about the heart rate and the way you move, it's also about uh, the age, uh, the height, your weight. It uses all of these data to simply count and measure out the correct estimate of your calories burned. So if you want to ensure that your data that you get from the Apple Watch when you're running is as correct as possible and you want to make sure that you're not like missing out on anything, then make sure to update your current data to your health app on your iPhone. So this would be pretty much it. Now, if you want to know how Apple Watch counts calories and what's the difference between active and resting or all total amount of calories, then make sure to check out this video right here in which you're going to find out all the important information about it. So definitely go ahead and check it out. <laughs>